to the Torium. Special case for this type of the new So your new is much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug. If it is within this one, the FTR region. Okay, so in this video, we will be talking about um, Laplace transform. So first, we will be tackling about the concept of a transform. Okay, so we have here, let's just write here the um, definition of a transform. Okay, so by definition, if you're going to write the uh, the equation of a transform, so this is the um, nomenclature of this one, t. So you have f of t, so function of time. So the transform of a function of um, t is equal to the integral of infinity so the limit is infinity and negative infinity k s t then we have f of t dt okay so let's analyze first this um equation okay so we have here the integral of k so a function of k which is um the variable so the function is in terms of s and t so, you have two variables here, then a function of t dt. So, this um, equation here is, or uh, this term here is the one which makes the this uh, whole thing work, or makes, or uh, the one that, ma that makes this equation as a transform. So, depending on the type of a transform, either it's Laplace Z uh, transform, so the, the equation will be, uh, this term will be, different so this is the definition of a transform so the main concept here is the integral of a limit so for the the general form is the limit from infinity to negative infinity so that is the definition of a transform now we'll go to the Laplace transform so maybe we just write here Laplace transform. Okay, so the definition of Laplace transform, so the equation for that is the Laplace okay, of a function of, uh, function of t is equal to the integral. Okay, so the limit is from infinity to zero a negative st so this will be our k s of t uh, k st uh, and then you have the function itself so f of t d t then this now will be transformed so the resulting one will be f of s so as you notice so our given function is um, in terms of t then we apply the concept of a transform in which our um, k s t is e to the negative s t so as, as you notice comparing the two so for the general form the we have the k s t so meaning this term is in terms of s and t so that's why we have this one then f of t dt so this one also then after applying this integral so ap after getting the um, the integration of this one we end up with a new function which is so uh, solely a uh, function in terms of s so that is the definition of the laplace transform so the the mean the main term that make this this transform laplace transform is this one the e to the negative st of course there is a much a broader definition of this one as 
apply on uh, other um, br branch of um, mathematics and engineering, especially in time domain and frequency domain um, um, problems. But in this video, we just focus on how the transform was derived, especially of elementary functions. And maybe we could have another video on the concept itself, on how it is, uh, on how the term is, the term used for the plus transform is e to the negative st. But for now, we'll just, ha we'll just focus on the on getting the transform of functions okay so maybe we have another page here so we'll get the laplace transform of elementary functions okay so the laplace transform of elementary functions so for example we'll have the need to find the Laplace transform of A so E raised to the power KT okay so we have here our uh, function this is an exponential function so we need to get the Laplace transform of this one okay so we just um, have the derivation okay solution so from the definition of Laplace transform, okay, we just write the given equation first. Okay, given function. So we have integral infinity to zero. So we have e to the negative st. Okay, let's just check if that is e to the negative st. Okay. Then our f of t is this one. So if you notice this is f of t okay so that is times e to the negative uh, e to raise to the power of kt okay d t okay so we have now that um transform okay so sim simplifying this term so they have the same base so we could apply the uh, uh, the rules of exponents we have e so maybe we just um, have this one as uh, t minus s oh no that is not okay t is the common term for this one so we have here um, t k minus s dt okay then maybe we could extract our our um, negative on this quantity we extract that one so we we'll end up with e negative t so we have s minus k dt then applying what we learned in integral calculus so that is e u to the uh, e to the u du so our du will be s minus k okay so that is our that is our du so this this will be a constant so because we don't have a du because our du is just dt so we are lacking with s minus k so we could have this one as um could have this one as negative one over so because the the differential of this one is negative s minus k dt so this is that but we don't have that one so we will just divide that one divide the recipe uh, multiply the reciprocal of that one in our equation so s minus k then that will be e to the negative t s minus k with limits from uh, limits from infinity to zero uh, from zero to infinity so i have that one in reverse okay maybe we should continue here so we will end up with e to the negative t s minus k over to be negative okay s minus k with limits from in from zero to infinity okay 
then we just apply the uh, apply the concept on getting the exact value of definite integrals because this is now a definite integral because we have now the limits okay so we will end up with so we'll just substitute the value of this limit here so we will have negative a negative our t is infinity s minus k over so the substitution of this one is um the upper limit minus the lower limit so we have s minus k will be minus so we have negative e raised to the power of negative zero so our t now is zero s minus k should uh, write here clearly s minus k over s minus k so negative infinity uh, e raised to, raise to uh, negative infinity going back to your differential calculus or going back to the theory of limits so this will be equal to zero so zero over zero so this term here will be zero while e raised to the power of zero this will be equal to one so we will end up with so this is negative negative positive so we we'll end up with one over s minus k and this one now is equal to the so this this now one over s minus k is the laplace transform of a raised to the power of kt of course k is a constant so for example if you have e raised to the power of 2t suppose we are going to get we should have this one in green get the laplace transform of e raised to the power of 2t of course our the value of our k here is now 2 so we could just substitute it directly we have 1 over s minus 2 so that is uh, this is one of the uh, the formulas of the Laplace transform of, of elementary functions. So we have derived the first one, which is the Laplace transform of um, an exponential function raised to a function. So this is now the Laplace transform of that um, function. Of course, at the end of this discussion, we will have the uh, the table of the Laplace transform for elementary functions. On the next video, we'll uh, on the next video we'll try to um, get. Uh, or de derive other Laplace transform of elementary functions. So for this video, this is the first part. So I hope you learned something and um, thank you for watching and as always, enjoy learning.